We are just hours away from the best artist in the low country and the world descending on downtown Charleston. Spoleto Festival USA and Piccolo Spoleto start tomorrow. News 2's Katie Turner spoke with organizers and those participating as she joins us now live from downtown Charleston. And Katie, what are some of these artists most excited about this year? Well, Carolyn, they tell me they're excited for the crowds, albeit smaller ones after the festival had to be canceled last year because of the pandemic. It's like Christmas in the summer for local artists. It's something that you kind of look forward to all year long. Spoleto Festival USA and Piccolo Spoleto run simultaneously for 17 days in the Holy City. The two festivals are a bit different. Spoleto is full of internationally acclaimed artists, whereas Piccolo is geared towards local performers. So Piccolo Spoleto really celebrates that community aspect. Charleston's own Tate Nation is no stranger to Piccolo Spoleto. In fact, this will be his 20th year showing off his paintings. Last year would have been the 20th, didn't happen. All good, but uh, no, I love it because it draws Piccolo Spoleto and Spoleto draw such a diverse crowd. During the 17 days of these festivals, Charleston is a canvas showcasing art from all over the world and right here in the low country. The title of this one is Rainbird Row. That's a mouthful, Rainbird Row. Beyond the white tents filled with visual art, Theater, dance, music, and more will fill the city. Because last year's Spoleto was postponed by the pandemic, artists are more eager than ever to display their work. Probably the artist that I'm, I'm most compelled by is our poster artist, Kate Hooray Osmond. She created the poster image, A Song of Charleston, in the winter of 2020. So she's been waiting a whole year even just to unveil the poster. Every day from open to close, Tate Nation will meet and greet visitors in his tent. It was kind of a little community. We, it's like a family. For Nation, seeing old friends and new faces, their smiles are well worth the wait. I have the opportunity to, to help someone smile or have a good, good time looking at something. Why would I paint something that's boring or drab? Or... Now there will be some changes this year. Capacity will be limited to 25% and there will be no indoor exhibits. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, I'm Katie Turner. Count on two.